TV here with George Jupp. Um, just finished some quality rounds with Craig Poxton. Yeah. Revisited. Yeah, um, yeah. Seven okay. area title fight. Yeah. Um, some people saw it controversial, but that's history now. Yeah, gone it, on yeah. and beat Mitchell Smith. What did you make of your performance on that night against Mitchell? Uh, yeah, it was a good performance. Had a game plan and stuck to it. Wasn't um, wasn't one hundred percent, but yeah, it was a good performance. Done what I had to do in there, and I had pretty easy night's work considering how tired he was. Like, um, obviously, in the build up to that, you know, he was saying how he's going to knock you out and um, all the different things that he was going to do. Were you quite surprised that that the way he went about his work in the ring on that night? Not really, not really. He's a big talker. He talks a lot. Like, he's, to be honest with you. What's done is done, but it done me a favour anyway because it took the fight up. He done me a favour by selling the fight. We just stay quiet and done the job. He's the one who looks like a bit of a dick now. Like it's going on from there, where do you think see yourself going after that? I mean, something I sort of read was there's possible rematch, which, in my opinion, I don't think is right. You know, you, you know, aren't that? You've you've got the win, and it's time for you to move on and move on to bigger things. So, where do you want to see things go? Um. Well. If the rematch comes around, we'll happily take it again because it's a big fight. It'll be a good fight. I'd like to prove that it wasn't a fluke, the first performance. Some people saying he had a real bad night. If I beat him convincingly again, there's, there's no excuses then. Like, everyone will see, see who should win. But um, I'll just take one fight at a time. I've got a fight on the 2nd of April first to deal with. Um, hope I'm concentrating on that date at the minute. Hopefully I'll come through that and then maybe in the future. I don't know. Yeah, I'm hoping. Um, currently... Uh, you're sort of down here in Norwich. Liam Walsh is a super featherweight British champion. Yeah. Uh, we don't know what's going on there at the minute with injury and where he's moving on. Is that a fight you'd like to take maybe later on in the year? or? Oh, who, who knows? I wouldn't say within a year. Like I, I see it at the weight. I'm, I have like, ambitions in the, in the weight, but I'm a realist. Like I would say Stephen Smith and Liam Walsh are way beyond British level. Like I've sparred with Liam a long time ago and he's come on load since then. I would actually say he's the best fighter in the weight. Um, I think they have other things to go on from. I'm, I'm taking my time behind them. Um, I'm open to fight all the boys below them, but I would say they're a bit beyond everyone at the minute, them top two, right? Um, looking on, you know, if Liam does move on, vacates a British title. Uh, we've got Craig Poxton now fighting Andy Townend for the English. Yeah. Um, what a dream, you know, get that... Craig Poxton, George Jupp on again for the vacant British title. Be a good fight, yeah, definitely a good fight. Um, how how would you see that one going? You know, another time out. You've you've done rounds with him already, and you got to fancy yourself in a fight, ain't you? I wouldn't take a fight that I didn't think I had any chance of winning. So if the fight happened again, I'd expect another tough night. Um, but it's a fight I would definitely be confident of winning. But I'm sure he'll say the same. That's what makes good fights in the division. I'd say there's a good five, six, seven boys below Liam Walsh and Stephen Smith that are all, um, all all around the same level so all of us would make good fights with each other so there's some exciting fights like that. Um, you said about your next outing, um, is there an opponent named yet? Or? Uh, I'm just waiting for Frank to confirm it or, or uh, Andy Agin to confirm it. Um, it's going to be a defence of the title so I'm, I'm guessing it'll have to be someone of a certain standard like a good fight so we're just training for a hard fight, training for that date. We've been in the gym five weeks already so We'll be flying by then. We've done 10 3 today and there's still um, five weeks to go. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. Brilliant. Well, thanks for your time. Best Anytime, of luck in mate, the future and hopefully we'll meet up again soon. Tom.